I'll just mark you. Did you do the leg? No. Because I was going to kick you. Sorry, guys. Is it, uh, is it always like this? You mean as easy as this? Yeah. <laughs> Looks quite smooth. No. no. <laughs> it's usually a bit more painful, but we have days when we sort of actually like working with each other and days when we just really can't do more than two steps together and we're screaming. So what's kept you working together, do you think? I, I really, I mean, the pain of working with Janet aside, because it's really not easy, and vice versa, I know it's not easy, um, the results are usually really lovely. And, and it's just something that's there naturally, you know. I mean, I can, can relate to him in absolutely any way I want to when I'm dancing. I practically know what he's going to do before he does it, and I think it's the same thing with him too. And I mean, that that's, makes for a lovely, a lovely combination. But I mean, I think it's to the, the the passion, the passion that we feel for one another. I mean, you know, I, mean, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually quite a, a while between wanting to dance and being allowed to. Um, my parents were reluctant at first, but I nagged on. And when they actually f finally relented, they were so supportive. In fact, this is the route that they would drive me to Launceston for my once a week lesson. They were incredible because, I mean, it really ruined their whole social life to make this long trek from Athena to Launceston on a weekly basis. for instance, the school contests were the, were the main events, the main entertainment. People would flock from all the <laughs> neighbouring farms and, and to see their kids perform. And I remember thinking, you know, how wonderful some of these big kick lines that Betty would organise you know, <laughs> with these rather healthy-looking um, farm girls at the thing. How much of a star were you each time? Um, I think I was probably a little too featured, you know, because, <laughs> you know, with, with the stage manager and the artistic director being my parents, I think I probably got more than my fair share. But he was a natural. He, he was really was. Too. He was a natural. He, was a he, he just loved it. He absolutely <laughs> adored the limelight. I'm sure of that. Show off. Yes. I know. I know. Not, not, in, a, not in a precocious <laughs> way. I think it was, he in, was an there enjoyable. To help carry the show. It was an enjoyable thing for him. Do you think wanting to be a dancer in this time around 1960 was unusual? Well, yes, it was. It was almost unheard of, I suppose. Uh, for boys especially, to be thinking of that. It was uh, rather fanciful, I suppose, for a lot of people who wouldn't understand. But as far as I was concerned, it was... It was Graham. It was what he wanted to do. And he loved it, loved the movement, and why shouldn't he? It didn't worry him that other people might think it's, it's a little bit sissy or something of that nature. He was still determined to go ahead with it. But I've decided that it's because if you actually totally believe that what you're doing is right, you, you, you have an air of confidence about what you do, the, you just push out this belief and this positive thing. And um, someone said to me just recently, someone I was at school with, you know, we, I just never, I've never seen you in trouble, you never got into a fight over it, everyone knew you were a dancer, and yet, you know, no one ever gave you a hard time, how come? I think they just accepted that it was part of Graham.